Greetings all, this video is for Pathfinder, who asked a question on another video of mine, hyphens, and dashes, and m dashes in Microsoft Word, where he was having a problem using dictation mode, where every time he was trying to say the words m dash or n dash when speaking, he, well, would not get what he was really expecting to show up. He was getting m dash run together or the words and ash instead of the actual m dash symbol. And every time he would try to say things like m dash sign, he would get the m dash plus the word sign. So very much not what he wanted to have happen at all. So he was asking if I had any suggestions, and I do. When you're in Microsoft Word, first of all, I hope you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, the latest updates installed, the works, um, because that does help. But from your home tab, if you turn on the dictate mode or dictation, that will begin writing down everything that you say. And as you can see, that is exactly what Dictate is doing as I'm speaking. And in fact, I am going to stop recording and you can see what that looks like. It's not exactly pretty. There's absolutely no punctuation. It didn't even capitalize my eyes yet. So it's not, it, it would require a lot of editing on my part to correct what has happened. Um, so. That's not ideal, obviously. Now, the way dictation used to work in Microsoft Word, I would have to say the punctuation marks as I was speaking. And that's not a very natural way of speaking, of course. Now, they've added a new feature. If you click on the dictation settings, there is this option here where you can enable auto punctuation. Now, I'm gonna turn that on, but I'm gonna move to another line first and click auto punctuation, select that. And then I'm gonna click the microphone symbol here to start dictation. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. Of course, I didn't really need to say period, but it's, uh, it was just sort of a habit. But as you can see, I'm talking and it is still writing. Now notice what happened, I paused and then it went back, looked at my sentence, and punctuated it for me. Isn't that cool? And it even got the question mark. But you kind of have to pause in order for Word to go back, analyze what you've said, and punctuate it. Now, if you want any specialized punctuation marks like the M dash, then you have to go and say those words kind of in a special way. And as you can see, it's already done that as I've spoken the symbol. That of course, isn't what I wanted because I'm talking about the M dash and not trying to punctuate it. So it's kind of a mixed bag where you may want to have auto punctuation turned on and you may not, depending on what subject you're speaking about. But if you want to have word auto punctuate and bring up these symbols, um, it does save you time, but you will have to say those special symbols that you want, like the M dash. Just be careful because it will change it every time you refer to the punctuation mark, um, even if you don't want it to. So I'm gonna turn that off now so I can speak normally, but you can see that it is sort of working. Um, it's not perfect. There are times where I have used this feature and it hasn't always brought up the M dash every single time. Um, when I've tried to use it, I've said M dash and it will still type it out as M dash two words together. Um, and if that happens, what you can do is just send a frown to Microsoft and uh, include your diagnostics. So you've, I've already opted in to include my diagnostic data with every single time I've sent 
a bug to them, but make sure that that's included. You can learn more about that, but you can include screenshots of what you're doing and that just lets them know what exactly you, what settings you had turned on, what you were doing, and they can look into, you know, why their AI isn't responding to what it is, whatever it is you're doing on your end. But sometimes, you know, like a, a setting might be a problem on your machine and they need to look into it. Now, if you are using an older version of Microsoft Word, if you don't see a menu that looks like this, I do recommend logging into the online version of Word. For that, you can go to office.com, log in with your Microsoft account, and then create a brand new blank Word document. And from here, you'll see you'll have that same dictate button. It may ask you to allow your microphone. I'm going to go ahead and click allow. And then you will see at the very bottom of a window of kind of similar screen to what we saw in the application. It has the dictation settings icon, the microphone, and a help button. Now clicking on that dictation button, it it's a little bit different, but you can set the language, you can set the microphone, and here is that option to enable auto punctuation. Click OK, and we can start recording, and it's just like before. May look a little different, but it's the same in principle. So if you don't have access to Microsoft Word on the desktop, or the latest version of Microsoft Word, like a Microsoft 365 subscription, this is available completely free to you. Just go to office.com, sign in with your free Microsoft account, and here is the dictation feature with all of those wonderful settings right here. Now, all of these tips that I just talked about are also available in a book that I just wrote with a colleague of mine, Microsoft 365 Word Tips and Tricks. Discover top features and expert techniques for creating, editing, customizing, and troubleshooting documents. It is available for purchase at Amazon and at Packed Books. Um, so there it is. There's some tips. There's some tricks and how to use the dictate feature with punctuation and special punctuation like the M dash. If you like this video, give it a like, leave some comments below the video, and I'll see you next time.